Welcome back to another video on this channel. Today we will be talking to you about 10 dangerous tattoos that can get you into serious trouble. Tattoos are much more than just pictures on the body. For some groups of people, tattoos have a special meaning that makes a certain impression of the owner. So if someone has a tattoo that doesn't correspond with their personality or social status, it may be taken as an offense. Factosaurus wants to keep you safe, so we decided to show you the most dangerous tattoos in the world that can cause a lot of trouble. As it turns out, in some countries, you can go to prison for a tattoo or it could even cost you your life. Welcome to Factosaurus, a channel where we show you the most extraordinary and outstanding videos and information you can think of. Leaving each and every one of our videos will keep you elevated throughout the day and will even make your day. For this rundown, we're looking at 10 dangerous tattoos that can get you into serious trouble. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Tear A teardrop tattoo or tear tattoo is a symbolic tattoo of a fear that is placed underneath the eye. The teardrop is one of the most widely recognized prison tattoos and has various meanings. It can signify that the wearer has spent time in prison, or more specifically, that the wearer was raped while incarcerated and tattooed by the rapist as a property mark and for humiliation, since facial tattoos cannot be concealed. The tattoo is sometimes worn by female companions of prisoners in solidarity with their loved ones. Amy Winehouse had a teardrop drawn on her face in eyeliner after her husband Blake entered the Pentonville Prison Hospital following a suspected drug overdose. It can acknowledge the loss of a friend or a family member. North American rappers The Game and Lil Wayne have teardrop tattoos signifying the death of friends and basketball player Amar Studemeyer has a teardrop tattoo since 2012 honoring his older brother, Hazel Jr., who died in a car accident. Number 9. Buddha Derived from Sanskrit, the word Buddha translates into the awakened one, believed to have reached a state of enlightenment known as Bodhi. Buddha taught Dhamma, which is the state of righteousness and truth found in every human being and the universe. Essentially, a tattoo of Buddha represents these truths, although there are variations that change the meaning as a whole. As the fourth most common religion in the world, depictions of Buddha are found in temples and shrines across the globe. Gaining popularity in the West, likenesses of Buddha are becoming more common and found on everything from traditional art to body art. A picture of any god on the body is blasphemy. This is why tourists with these tattoos often end up at police departments when they travel to Buddhist countries. Number 8. Yakuza Perhaps the largest reason why tattoos are generally frowned upon in Japanese society is because of their associations with the Yakuza. Japan's transnational organized street gangs' tattoos have long been associated with crime in Japan, starting during the Kofun period. Tattoos were issued as punishments for crimes. Most commonly, the punitive tattoos were marks or bands around the arm, but they were almost never pictorial designs. However, the practice of using tattoos as punishment continued through the most of Japanese history until 1945, when the most recent ban on tattoos was lifted. Since that time, more and more Japanese have been getting tattoos. However, the Yakuza being outlaws were never especially concerned with the lawfulness of getting tattoos. They continued to get tattoos, but kept them concealed. Because of the bans on tattoos in Japan, the design of the tattoos changed to be more concealable. In fact, the Yakuza popularized a special style of Horimono tattoo that was specifically designed to be large yet easily concealed. Yakuza tattoos, although they cover most of the body, always stop at the wrist, ankle, and neck. Additionally, there is usually a strip on a non-tattooed area going down the middle of the chest. The tattoos were designed this way so that they could be easily concealed under a kimono. Today, the design also works well to conceal the tattoo under a business suit. In Japan, only people who are part of the Yakuza have the right to have such tattoos. This is the most powerful and bloodthirsty criminal gang in the country, so anyone else who has this type of tattoo and is not Yakuza will probably likely encounter trouble. Number 7. Shamrock People often get a shamrock tattoo for luck, but if you are accidentally getting a tattoo with three leaves instead of four, this will mean you are a part of the Irish criminal gang. So, if a member of this gang sees a person with this tattoo and realizes they are not the part of the gang, they will run into some major trouble. Number 6. 
barbed wire. This tattoo symbolizes a broken heart, suffering in love and even death. But in these cases, a symbol of a barbed wire is usually combined with a symbol of heart, rose, etc. Another reason for a barbed wire tattoo could be imprisonment. In many countries, people who have been in jail are wearing this tattoo, which reminds them of the years that they spent in jail. Also in some countries, a barbed wire tattoo is used as a sign of identification for prisoners who were sentenced to death. Every knot on the wire stands for one year in prison. This is why when a law-abiding citizen gets this tattoo, ex-convicts may take it as an offense or even a joke. This could make the tattoo owner's life way harder. Another interesting meaning of barbed wire is the fence. What does it actually mean? It means that people who are wearing this tattoo believe that they are hard to approach. They believe that nobody can understand them and they are usually anti-social persons. Are you enjoying our list? Wait for the last but not the least, our bonus entry in the list. But before we get further into the list, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more amazing videos from us. Let's continue with our list. Number 5. Snarling Predators Regular people associate a snarling predator with a brave, courageous, and powerful person. But in the criminal world, people who have this picture on their body basically say they have an inclination to violence and are ready to commit a violent crime and not feel sorry for it. So, if you have this kind of tattoo, you may get into some serious trouble because criminals think you have to deserve the right to have this tattoo. Number 4. Rings on Fingers Prison ring tattoos are considered a classic taboo and often play the role of a business card. When prisoners first meet, it is a quick way to get the overall picture of each other's status. Ring tattoos are worn not only by men but also by some women. They are very similar to the men's tattoos and usually signify they are career criminals. Unlike other body markings, ring tattoos are generally not made against the bearer's will. There are some exceptions. For example, tattoos that symbolize the lowest ranks often Often the most humiliating are done against the person's will. So in the event of a convict's transfer to another prison, his slash her rank will be well known and he slash she will not be able to take a higher hierarchical spot than what was assigned. Rings on fingers are the fastest and easiest way to tell if the owner was convicted and was a respected person in prison. Every ring shows the power of their authority and their experience. So, if an ex-con sees these tattoos made for fun, they will probably not like it since it offends their principles. Number 3. Cross on the chest Particularly found in Russian prisons, chest tattoos symbolize the Prince of Thieves. This is the highest rank a Russian convict can achieve and is generally worn by higher-ups in the mob. Russian prisoners have a unique and intricate history of prison tattoos, each with their own unique meaning. Another example are bells symbolizing freedom, or a tiger on the chest is symbolic of aggression towards the police. A tattoo of a big cross is very dangerous to have in Russia. This is the tattoo that the most dangerous criminals in Russia get. It is really risky to get this tattoo for fun because if an experienced criminal sees it, the owner may be accused of lying. Number 2. Spiderweb A spiderweb is sort of an autobiography among convicted people. It means that they were convicted for a long time and that they fought drug addiction. One ring on the web represents one difficult year in someone's life. This is how criminals recognize their people. And they have a very negative reaction to people who get these tattoos just because they like them. Number 1. The Five Point Crown in the US, the five points of the crown are the symbol of the Latin Kings gang. They are one of the biggest Hispanic gangs both in and out of the prison. Obviously, it is extremely dangerous to get this tattoo for fun. Now it's time for today's bonus item. Bonus Playing Cards in the world of organized crime, every playing card has its own meaning. This is why several cards can tell a lot about a criminal, the prisons they were in, and how big of a boss they are. If the meaning of the cards has nothing to do with the life of the owner, some people may treat this as lies. Do you know anyone who has inappropriate tattoos? Share this video with them immediately. Which of these tattoos would you dare to get on your skin? Let us know about some other amazing secrets in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, see you all next time later. Everybody, until then, signing off.